Hello YouTube, it's Lemme Kermos of Free, welcome back to Xenoblade Chronicles Definitive Edition episode... I actually don't remember what this episode is! Episode 32! Wow. Sorry about that. So yeah, last episode. We did a bunch of side quests here at Colony 9 during the day, and now we're here for the side quests here during night time. There are a few I want to do, one in particular I really want to get done, but uh... What was I checking? Oh yeah, I was going to check the Divinity. Let's see how these guys are all doing together. Going ban Ryan's still yellow. We might up that to green today. We'll see. We're going to start off with the side quest right here. The one I really want to do, in case you want to go and do that right away, actually lies right over here. So, yeah, we'll get to him soon enough. Hello. Have you got any Yolk... Uh, Yolk of Flam uh, Flammy Eggs? They make the best omelets. I want one for my girl. Oh, so this is a material quest. Yeah, material quest four. We've already got them. You're really gonna help me? Nice one. You should be able to get them from the f uh, the flammies around here. Quest complete. <coughs> that was quick and easy. Okay, we got ourselves another one right over here. Us. Do something. <laughs> Should be this guy right here. It's a resident. I've lost the tool I need for work. I just don't know what I'm what to do. Again, it's a material quest. Well, is that counts as material quest? No, it's search quest. We need a spanner. Okie dokie. The spanner should be around here somewhere. Oh yeah, it's way over there. Let's go and grab it. I'm honestly surprised I've never grabbed this anytime soon because we've been to this area before. Oh well, better late than never. Wait. Oh yeah, this side quest. This is another one as well to do. Let's grab the spanner. Quest complete. Alright, let's go back over here because we got this side quest here to do. Yeah, until we get to like the more in integral side quests, I'm basically, my commentary is going to be pretty basic. You will have to excuse me for this first episode. I'm still tired. Oh, here we go. We got some of the uh, these ones. You heard? Uh, Zukazu, I can't say this, so, this Nopon's name. And Little Brother Pond have been fighting for 10 years. Well, over. Want to go and see... Big wide world, but little brother Pun always trying to hold Zakuku back. I'm gonna just gonna call him Zaku, uh, Zakuzu, Zakuzu. We've been fighting about this for the past ten years, but Zaku, Zakuzu, nor little brother Pun still no change mind. Wanna end it now? So I'm gonna win. That's why I want you to bring red pollen orb. If I eat, I'm just gonna say I. If I eat this, my power will increase a hundred times. Oh. I see the yes. I can't say this Nopon's name, he's so awkward. I probably said it right as well. Let me go! Uh. Okay, yeah, I really don't like this Nopon's name, because I can't say it. So it kind of makes it really hard to do this. But basically, he doesn't want his brother Pon to know. But, believe it or not, we actually want to go and talk to him. Yeah, because this is one of those side quests that are, I believe, split. I'm pretty sure, anyway. Let's, uh... Collect the red pollen orb from the location relating to the Nopon. Yeah. Well, if we actually click this. Let's talk to this guy here. This is his little brother Pon. Hello. I might just look. It may look like me and my brother. Don't get along, but we do. He's my adopted brother, and I care for him as he cares for me. 
but I just can't let him go out traveling the world by himself. It's dangerous out there, he could get killed. Our next showdown is going to be a fi the final showdown. I have to win so I can make him abandon his crazy ambitions. Oh, there's something you need to tell me? He wants a red pollen orb? Seriously? I know eating one of those would make him really strong, but looks like he looks like he's willing to do whatever it takes to beat me. Do you think you can give that to me? Uh, so I can't let him win. Sas Sakuzu come so far. How can Sa uh, Sakuzu lose? Now it's time to drop this plan of yours, just as you promised. You're going to stay here, in the colony, forever. Okay, that just sounds sad. Oh, I lost. I know it's a bit boring, but Colony 9's not so bad. And I don't want my brother to go away. It'd be no fun without you. What if I never see you again? Thanks. Make sure you give it to me, not him. Rest assured, your issue will be attended to with it. Uh, usual t t common dialogue. So yeah, if you uh, co it doesn't tell you, but he actually the Nopon does say his little brother Pon's name, and that's this guy. And so you had the idea to come here. I mean, that uh, exclamation mark that appears here to talk to him actually doesn't show up until you talk to him originally. So we're off to Satoru Marsh. To go and grab that red pollen orb, which is right over here at the Shining Pond. At least I think it's the Shining Pond, or is it that Nopon hideout? It might be the Nopon hideout. I might be an idiot. Yep, I'm an idiot. It's at the it's at the hideout. Whoops, see you up at the hideout. We've been there plenty of times. All right, we're here. Let's grab this red pollen orb. I know we're not technically done here, but we will be back to Satoru Marsh to complete this area. Because when, I don't think we're completely done here, the Collectopedia. Yeah. But the problem is, though, is I, I won't lie, I actually am having trouble trying to distinguish, like, a good balance between story progress and side, side quest progress. It actually is a little difficult for me because this game is big! Very big. There's a lot more side quests and uh, the story is also pretty big as well. So, uh, you will have to excuse me for, like, uh, putting, if there's, like, sometimes I have, like, a lot more side quest episodes than maybe story progress episodes. But let's just say that will change a lot a little later on. There'll be a lot more story about the mid the midpoint of the game. So, yeah. Oh, no! Don't go away! I need to give this to you! Hello. Did you get the red pollen orb? So you think I should have it? Then he's sure to lose now. You'll have to give up on his dream. There's more to life than traveling anyway. I'll show him that we can do just as fine just fine here in Colony 9. He didn't have a chance. Here I go. Yeah, this is the better option, not gonna lie. It's over. I took it took a while, but he submitted. He said he'll stay here and he'll even make a boat. I always said there's nothing better than living in peace with family. Quest complete. And with that... Wait. That is that. We can't really do much else with that. There is another part of the storyline, but not just yet. I think... I think we even need to get the uh, affinity of calling nine up, or it's a little bit later. Either way, how about we go and do that side quest I've been wanting to do? All the a lot of these side quests around here are like generic NPCs, except for this guy. Any NPCs that don't have actual names are like generic stuff, like material quests, search quests, monster quests. But let's just say some are. Even with, uh, ones with names can be a mixture of many. See, same. All right. At least I think that's how you say his name. What's with the face? You want to join us? Come on, we're short on members anyhow. You came because you heard about my plan, right? Tell me in greater detail. 
Well, you know, soon enough, better late than never, eh? I hope you're not expecting us to take part in some fiendish scheme. Ah, so Dunban actually had the uh, unique dialogue for this. I'm glad Dunban's in the party. Everybody has their own idea on what justice is. Maybe you don't like mine, but that is lit that's really my problem. Well, is that really my problem? Anyway, getting back to the point. Here's your first job. Collect two Crokin Bog Brog bags, Brog bags from a, a singing Brogs in Tefra Cave. Go to Tefra Cave and collect some Crokin Brog bags for me. You're one of us, so don't let me down. All right then, let's head to Tefra Cave. I believe we are heading here. Or not. Oh, don't tell me it was actually the ones around the start of the area. Am I that dumb? I am. <laughs> well, that's me for you. I'll see you once I get these two. Whee! Oh, I got a silver chest on the first one. Nice. Oh, two silver chests in a row. That means we're already done. Nice. Two two brogs and two bags. Back to say his name or whatever the hell his name is. So many awkward names. Hello. All right. Did you get them all? Good work, man. You're learning the ropes fast. Now you just need to take these to the residential district and see Betty. Betty's normally around during the day, so you'll go. So go and have a chat with her. Don't let me down. Okay, Betty, I do believe, is the NPC that appears over here. So I'll see you here in the day. I guess I was wrong. Betty is this person. Hi, Betty. Hi there. Feels like I'm watching the Flintstones now saying that. Oh, you need to see me. I see. So you're one of his gang. Forgive me. It's just that you don't look like the type. Here's what I promised him. Whatever you do, don't look at what don't look at what's inside. The sealed package. This is seeming sketchy. Alright then, let's go back to the guy at night. And we're back. Alright. So you spoke to her and handed over. Come on, I know she gave you something. Yep, no doubt about it, this is the real thing. Good work. I hope I was of some help. Did she say something? Actually, nah, forget I ax. That's all for now. I have another job for you later. No complaints, even if it's just another carrier job. Quest complete. We're not done here, though. But did the, uh, the affinity between Colony 9 just go up? I think it did. Colony 9 is at 3. No, we was at 3 before. Ooh, Central Bionis is at 2. I think I need that to be 3 for something else I'm thinking of later. Oh well, right. hello. Oh, there you are, just in the nick of time. Got any ideas of what my plan is yet? No? You still haven't co cottoned on? Come on, it's so obvious. Anyway, you're one of us. No backing out now. Right then, here's your next job. It's sort of like your last job. Nah, it's exactly like that. Except... If you go to Cliff Lake, you'll find tons of colony crabbles there. Gather up some iron crabble shells from them. Oh yeah, now that I think of it, they only come out at night. But remember, you're one of us. We know you can get this done. Do I have all that? I feel like I might. I've got one of them. Okay then, I'll see you over here. Cliff Lake, he said. So, over here, I believe. So, I'll see you over at Cliff Lake. Alright, we're here at Cliff Lake. We got four right here. There's hoping we get lucky and get it on the first try. Let's do it! Oh, we got a silver chest. I think we're already done. Nice. Two out of two. Let's go back. Hello! Alright. You got him! Looks like clockwork as usual. You're an asset of to my team. According to the list, the next job is going to have a chat with our artist friend Kenny Rohan. He's just over the he's just around the corner. At least a thing. 
he should have something to give you. The only thing is, he has the tendency of moving around a lot. You might need to hunt him down. Ah, uh, well, you're actually right, but he's literally right over there. I, I guess I was not wrong, he is around the corner. <laughs> oh my god, I found Kenny! Sorry. Uh, make sure you get this to him and do not, don't go looking inside. That man does irritate me a little. False in this difficult task on me. Just tell him not to mess it up and not, and don't mention my name. Honestly, probably for the best. <laughs> All right. You got the package off him? Excellent. I owe you one. I was, uh, he didn't mention anything else, did he? Actually, it doesn't matter. Don't worry about him. Your last job is coming up. I'm sure you can pull it off. Quest complete. Strength up three. Right. Ryan just leveled up to level 41. Nice. All right. I think, it, did he just get a skill up? I'm gonna need to check that. Now for the final stage of my plan. You must know what our plan is by now. Come on. Are you serious? You still haven't figured it out? You've done well to get this far, being as dense as you are. Just keep quiet and play along. If we disapprove of your intents, we can stop you whenever we please. That's right, Melly has got the unique dialogue here. You may wish to bear this in mind. What's this? You're planning to take us down from the inside? Well, you proved yourself to me, so I still have use for you. This time I need you to defeat a monster. It might be the toughest task yet, but I think you're up for it. Besides, this is the final stage. And they, like they say, all well that ends well. Except. The Dark Morok, uh, Morok Mor, appears near Anti-Air Battery 3. This is exactly the kind of time it shows up. I'm heading there now. All we need to, uh, for you to do is beat it. Don't let me down. Now, this was an enemy I was planning to fight in the next episode, but then I remembered it was part of this quest. So, because, well, it's actually like around here, so I'm going to fast travel over here. How do I get up there again? Oh yeah, probably somewhere over here, right? But yeah, I won't... I will say what the next episode is towards the end of the episode. But then again, uh, once you see this monster, you might have a little bit of an idea what I'm uh, what I'm talking about. There's our enemy up there. Even though you could do this somewhere near earlier point in the game, I wouldn't have recommended it. Because once we can lock on to it... Come on. There we go. It's level 18, Unique Monster. So it is pretty tough, but we're at level 40, so this will be easy now. This represents no problem whatsoever. I don't have time for small fry. This won't take long. And as you know with me, I don't cut out the first attempt, well the first fight against a unique monster. And this is new, so keep it this in. But this fight's pretty much already as good as done. Done. You need to have a talk with Brian. No, let's pretend it didn't happen. Okay, I still didn't catch that first bit of what Ryan said. He said something without Ryan. I'm not, I keep missing that first bit. You know what? I'm going to find out in editing. I want to know what he said. <laughs> well, we got a gold chest. Not bad. And you know what? I actually want to check out the, the skills because I'm pretty sure Ryan. No. Just make sure nobody else is maxed out. Don't look like it. Good. Arts? No, no one's got any new arts. Okay, I guess it must have just been a level up with Ryan. Let's go back. Believe it or not, that was the last thing this guy wants us to do. So this technically ends the whole thing. Time to see what we've been doing this whole time. Alright. You beat it? Great, go it! While you were gone, I got almost everything ready. Now what I need you to do is to head to the commercial district's entrance. Then take a look at the street light near there. Go on, it needs to be double checked. Then what? Then come back here. Kaboom! 
You've come this far, might as well go the whole hog. Now go check on that street light. Ooh, this seems even more fishy when he says kaboom. So they says It reads Too bad you came all this all the way this way for nothing. It's a trick! We have to put an end to Sarin's tyranny. Run! I got you! Alright. Oh, you're back! Hey, don't look at me like that. Just look up at the sky. What? Everything is so dark and gloomy these days. No one has anything happy to talk about. So we figured we couldn't we couldn't light up people's lives. So we did it with fireworks. Only three though, too bad, huh? Betty's husband makes gunpowder, so that's what she gave me. Then we asked Kenny Ro Rohan to design the fireworks for us. Isn't it great when everybody's ready to uh, club together like this? I hope it was a fun. This is the first time we really tried it, but it turned out great. We should give it our all, all ourselves a big pat on the back. What? You think we should have been clear from the get-go? That ain't no fun. We wanted to surprise everyone. That's why it all had to be a tip-top secret. Now, about your reward. That's right, I'm not about to leave you empty-handed. I care about my friends and cohorts. Don't look so surprised. Here you go. Quest complete. Yeah, it was nothing sinister. It was just very suspicious. <laughs> I'm still Dunban's level 41. Nice. Wait, what was that? He got something. Was that an art? Was that a skill? No. He got something blue. I'm not sure what that was. I really should pay attention more to that. <laughs> Alright then. I think we're going to head over... I'm gonna now have a look for side quests of non-named NPCs. Cause we're gonna do a few of those out of the way. You're not a non-named one, I know you. I'm gonna have a look around. Oh wait, this is a non-named. Hi there. So this should be Yep, material quest, a small scale. I'll accept this. So we're just going to go around and accept all the non-named NPC stuff. We'll do the other named ones in a, at another time. Not too far in the distant future, just far enough. Oh, that one looks like uh, the Nopon's quest is continuing now. That'll be for next time. This, I believe, is a non-named NPC. Well, generic names, Hello. technically. The Wedding Ring. I remember that one. Oh yeah, that one's behind Dunman's house. Oh, we'll grab that in a sec. Alright, let's check out these two. Oh, that quest at the very back. That's her. That's the woman. And you're a generic. What's up? Alright then, so let's go, so that should be, yeah, I think all the side quests that are left right now are all named NPCs, so let's go and take care of these quests. We're going to start off here at the Hazard Park to find the enemy that that last person we just spoke to wants us to beat. So let's do, uh, your Colony 9, Whoa. Challenge 3, I do believe. Yep, it's down below. We've technically already beaten this enemy before. At least I, th I think we did. I guess we'll find out if we get the coin. But this enemy is pretty weak, so this won't take us too long. Wow. But yeah, see, it's only level 6. Done. Alright, I'll see you once this is all over. Oh, we got the Affinity Coin! We hadn't beat it yet! Okay! Shut my mouth! 
Got a small scale, which was also from another quest, so... They just killed a bunch of fish with a bunch of wax. <laughs> and a bug. Thank you for all that. And now there should just be one more quest left. I'm not gonna lie, I was not a Oh, right, yeah, and that's the wedding ring. So we're heading over towards Dunban's house. I'm still surprised Ryan and Dunban haven't uh, leveled up friendships between Melia. Maybe I should use items. Either way, quest complete. I think I will leave this episode a little bit on the shorter side, so I will be ending here. There are still a few side quests left here, a fair bit. But again, I don't want to go completely crazy on side quests. So how about I try and get these guys' affinity up a little bit? Yeah, they're still yellow. I forget what each person likes. I think Ryan likes meat and stuff like that. I forget about Dunban. I forget about Melia, so I'm gonna have a quick peek at this, so I'll see you guys in a sec. Wow, guys, I had to give a lot to boost Ryan and Melia to green, as in, that was actually a bunch right there I had to do. Wait a minute. Oh, right, yeah. <laughs> okay. So we'll do Melia to Dunban this time. Alright, I'll see you once I figure some stuff out. He likes, fr he likes vegetables. Oh, doesn't like spicy cabbage. There we go. Gained one extra, but everybody is now at least green with everyone. Okay, not entirely. Looks like I need to get Ricky and Shulk up. You know what? That's actually a good thing. Well, kind of Oh, wow. There's a lot to go. <laughs> You know what then? That means that our next party for the next episode is going to be Shulk, Dunban, and Ricky! I'm going to have a, a fair bit to cut out there. Oh yeah, I got... I should have gotten a few things that... Yeah, I got an achievement. You may have this! Why did I do a hand gesture? You can't see me! <laughs> okay, let's go over to skills. Alright, we got ourselves a few slots open here. Boost physical defense when HP is half. Very nice for Ryan. Uh, this one is... No. Agility when health is halved. Reduce agility when health is halved. Nice. Increase chance finding rare. Yep. Can't do anything else there just yet. And then with Dunban. The same thing. Alright, so that will do for this episode, guys. Hope you've all enjoyed. In the next episode, we it, the next episode might be a bit of a shorter episode for you guys because it's going to be a Monster Hunt episode. We are going to go and hunt for unique monsters here in Colony 9 within Tefra Cave. And, well, actually, I think we can't do any more in Tefra Cave at the moment. Uh, in Colony 9 and around the Bionis Leg, I also plan to make one stop in Magna Forest towards the end of the episode. It's a place I remember that we can do right away. So, hope you guys will enjoy it and I'll see you all next time with a new party and we're off monster hunting. Bye-bye! This world is pretty. Why do I feel like I've said that before?